Okay, now when we open the gallery and open a video or an image, we will be able to see this film strip at the bottom by default. Now this change happened after One UI 3.0, Samsung implemented this iOS-like feature which shows this film strip at the bottom. Now here when we scroll through a video file, the video will start automatically playing by default and when we tap on this video file on the film strip, it expands and we can swipe through it to go forwards or backwards. Now this is the default setting we have. Now did you know that we have got two additional video playback options which are hidden in the gallery settings which will change the way we look at the videos in the gallery. So in this video we are going to see how these options work and then I'm going to show you how exactly you can enable these hidden options. The first hidden video player mode is playing the video with video button. Let me open the gallery and open a video file. As you can see at the bottom when we tap on this video we don't get the seek option here. As you can see, I have got this play video button right here. When I tap on this, the video will play in Samsung's video player application. Of course, in the default mode also, we can play a video through video player. But for that, you need to tap on this three button and then open the file in video player. But here with this mode, we get to see this play video button right here. You can just tap on that to play the video in video player. And in this mode, when you tap on this video thumbnail here, we don't get the seek option here. That's because we can directly open this video on video player and we can forward or go backwards. That is the first mode. Now let me show you the second mode here. This mode is called legacy video seek bar. Let's open gallery and let me open a video file here. Here it is. You can see the video play button has been replaced by video seek bar. Now in this mode, whenever you scroll through a video file, you can seek the video by just swiping through this bar. That is fantastic, isn't it? Now these are the two options we get. You can choose the one you prefer. I'm sure each of you have different preferences. So Samsung has thoughtfully offered these options which are hidden in the gallery. So we will have to enable it. Before we go ahead and show you how to do that, a sub and a like would be much appreciated. If you love watching contents like this, go ahead, subscribe to the channel and smash the like button if you find this video useful. Now let me show you how do we enable these options in the gallery settings. All you need to do is open the gallery and tap on this hamburger menu. Tap on settings. Now here go all the way down you will see about gallery. The magic happens here. You need to keep tapping on this version number multiple times until it says gallery labs is enabled. So the first thing you need to do is enable the gallery labs. Go to gallery settings, go to about gallery, keep tapping on the version number, you will be able to enable the gallery labs. Now this gallery labs may be limited to some of the Galaxy devices and may not be available on all Samsung models. So be wary of that. Now once you enable it, you will be able to see labs option here in the gallery settings itself. At the bottom, you will get this option. Just tap on this option. Here we have got various toggles. Under One UI 3 options, we have got a toggle film strip in Weaver. Now, if you don't want this film strip at all in the gallery, you can directly disable it. You don't get to see this film strip at all. It will be clean. You will be able to scroll through the videos and images and play the video right there on the screen. If you have this film strip in Weaver enabled, right below that we have this option video player mode on film strip. Just tap on this. Here, we get these two options. One is play video button. The second one is legacy video seek bar. Of course, you have the default settings. Depending on your preference, just select the one you want. The first video playback option I demonstrated was a play video button. The second one was legacy video seek bar. Depending on your preference, just select the one you want, tap on OK. Now these changes will be applied only after you restart the gallery. So make sure once you select these settings, close the gallery and open the gallery again, then you will see these changes being applied inside the gallery. These are fantastic video playback options which are hiding inside the gallery labs. Go ahead and check it out and do let me know what do you think about these in the comment section below. Also let me know which one do you prefer using, whether you prefer using the default setting with the film strip, do you prefer turning off the film strip, do you want to set the play video button or do you want to set the legacy video seek bar. Do drop a comment in the comment section. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel and smashed that like button. If you haven't done it yet, go ahead and do that. That's all I wanted to share with you guys in this video. There are many other tips and tricks videos for your Galaxy phones. Go ahead and check out the channel and also check out the video description. I have left many links for other tips and tricks videos there. That's about it. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.